So I want to use this program to do a rough edit. What you can do in the storyboard is you can look at clips, you can mark in and out points, you can rearrange them, then you can play them and export them. You could actually do your entire edit inside of Mink if you wanted to. For obviously, if you want to do a bit more, you want to do a bit of color correction, you want to go and add graphics and titles and God knows what else, that's the job for an editing program. I use Edius a lot. Mink really talks to Edius very well, but you can use Mink with other programs. We'll talk about that in a minute. First thing I want to do is just make up a quick storyboard. So I'm going to do it from clips I've loaded into the library, and I'm going to be looking at the same clips I use for lots of different tutorials, which are amongst this lot somewhere. So how do I find them? Well, obviously I can just look through the list and find the things. It's actually these ones here I want. But this is a prime case where I could do things like just select them all and make sure they've got an interview tag on them. Oh, they have. Let's maybe have a smart catalog with a tag of interview. And oh, only one of them is tagged. Okay, let's go back, find them again and tag them all with the word interview. So at least I know what I'm looking for. There we are, eventually found them, oh, gone, lost them again. They're in there somewhere. There we are. They're in there somewhere. Now I could actually just do that and look through the list and try and tag them. I should probably have tagged them as they were coming in. But another thing you can do is you can change the way this display shows clips just by using this little thing up here. I mean, obviously there's a little slidey bar that makes the icons bigger and smaller. So that's let me find them. But you can also click on this little square and you can show them either as thumbnails, details, timeline, or calendar. Well, thumbnails, fine. Little pictures, details little pictures with information. Timeline though, actually puts them into date order. So assuming they had a date on them when they were filmed, which most clips will, now I can look through that and yes, yeah, actually split them up into the days they were filmed, which means, oh, they jump out at me a lot quicker just by doing that. Calendar is really nice if you've cataloged lots of clips because you know, you can actually look through the various years and if you knew you did them in 2014, well, there we are, that one was filmed in 2014. Then you can go click on that day and it'll take you to that day. But no, what I want to do is I want to just go and look for the interview stuff. And oh, I want to select the lot and then right click, edit properties and add a tag of interview, which again, just start typing the first couple of letters. It comes up with one that's already there. Job done. I've now got a little smart catalog with those in it. And I only did that just so I could see the things. Now what I want to do is to make up a storyboard. So I'm going to go to storyboard and click plus and add in a new storyboard. There are no clips. Please add clips from your library. Well, that would be a good idea. Go to this new smart catalog and I know I need the wide shot and I'm also going to need those two. In this particular thing, I know all the other ones are rubbish. I just need that. So I'm going to drag those, drop them in there. There we are. I've now got three clips. If you've ever looked at one of my training videos, this is a little video where I'm basically sitting down here, this other guy walks in, we have a quick chat and then he goes out again. And I wanna start the very first clip with just the bit where he comes in. So that's really about there. So all I've done is basically grabbed hold of that little playhead and dragged through it. I could drag through on the playhead up here. I can obviously play it using the play button or the space bar. I can use the arrow keys to move one frame forwards and one frame backwards. So the same stuff that I'd be doing inside my editing program. And I want to mark that as the starting point of that clip, which I'm going to do by clicking on the I button. Now I'm going to start it playing. Hi. 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 And that's about where it's going to finish. And I'm going to mark that as the ending point. So you can see I've actually just isolated a little bit of that clip. Might not see it very well because it's quite small up there, but let's just make these little icons bigger using the slidey bar. And yeah, you can see I've isolated a little bit of that clip. That's it. I've now done the first bit. The second bit comes from a close up of this guy. His name is Ringo. Now it's in the wrong place. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it and put it above the other one. And then I'm going to look through it. Play it. David. That's about where it starts. David, I want to ask you about bloody How easy is it to edit? There we are. Out point. So I've got in he walks, he says something, I then reply, which is going to be about there. Well, it's pretty easy to edit the stuff these days. And actually, let's get rid of the properties thing. That's not doing me any good. So let's just turn that off for the moment. So if you play that back, you notice he comes in, he sits David, down, he says something, How easy is and it then I well, reply. Well, it's pretty easy to edit the stuff. Now I need to use something else from that clip. So I've used a little bit in the middle. I need to use the second shot. So I'm going to take that 
copy it and paste it. And I've not got two versions of the same thing. Now move it after me, because obviously that's his reply to me. And at the moment, I can only move the playhead here in between the in and the out point. So I'm just going to move the out point on a bit until I find his reply to me. Oh, that's not bad. That's about where he starts replying. Let's mark that as the in point. Um, Sony and Panasonic cameras. Is there a big difference between the footage? And that's the out point. So I now have now put another edit, but out of the same clip. So this is the same clip there and the same clip there. And I can go on, take my reply. Let's copy it and paste it, shove it underneath, move it along till I find my reply, which is going to be about there. And let's just I for in. Again, when we first started, there was some programs wouldn't take one or the other. But these days, all the programs just really take the stuff. Go for out. And again, I'm going to use this one. So copy it, paste it, shove it underneath. So you can see there, I'm building up a little storyboard, one clip after the other. Wonderful. So I've got the whole interview put together. I can go in there and refine it. So I can just move in here and use the arrow keys to refine the edit a bit more. So I'm going to take out that word wonderful because, you know, he looks to the camera and everything and I don't need it. I'm going to change that and make that the in point again. Bong, very simple. So you can see there, you can actually make up a rough edit very quickly out of a lot of different clips. Now, apart from an undo and a redo button, there's not a lot else you can do here. So for example, normally when I do this and I go to this second shot where I wobble on a bit, I put a reaction shot or an insert shot over the top so, so you can see Ringo. You can't do that here. You can't mix in different audio tracks. It really is just a quick storyboard. One thing you can do is if you click on the little cog, you've actually got a speaker icon here and you can change the volume on the clip. But that's about it. But having done that, OK, what do I do with it now? Well, I've got a storyboard there of a little edit. I might want to refine it. So I need to take it to an editing program or maybe I just want to export it.